Hello, my dears. So I am here with my beloved Sonia as your model today. And we are going to be going through a flow that is fortifying for the SI joints and the hips. So sometimes when the hips can feel a little bit tweaky or a little bit sore where you're noticing it, um, what's best is to actually strengthen those SI joints and to do some things that are more fortifying and less stretchy. Yeah, so more focus on strength, less on flexibility. And so today, if you have a yoga block, please grab it. If you don't, just a pillow will work or something else that you can put between your knees and squeeze. So it could be a book, it could be a block, it could be a firm pillow. And if the pillow isn't firm, you could fold it in half and that would work great too. And then we'll also stretch the side body and the lats and that kind of thing. So without further ado, let's take a moment to just breathe and notice where we are in our physical body. Notice how our body feels. Notice where the breath moves. And then just notice the subtler things like energetically, how do you feel? <laughs> Emotionally, mentally, and it can be as subtle as I'm a little scattered today or I feel pretty grounded or I feel sleepy, any of those things, just notice. And let all of that be what it is. And then today we'll, we'll do a little pranayama, nadi shodhana, alternate nostril breath. Bringing the right hand by the nose, thumb is by the right nostril, ring finger is by the left. You can curl the pointer and middle in, or you could place the middle finger at the third eye point, pointer finger on top. Gently close the right nostril and inhale through the left side. Gently close the left as you exhale right. Inhale through the right side. And exhale left. So that's one round. We'll do a few more at our own pace. Remember, you stay for the inhale and switch, switch sides on the exhale. And the next time that you exhale through the left side might be the last one. <laughs> Just 
just allowing your hand to rest on your lap when you're done and breathing through both nostrils. And if you can, just notice any effect that might have had on your mind or your energy, as well as physically. And then slowly making your way onto your back and having that block or pillow and place it between your knees and the feet on the floor and the feet in close to the hips and then pushing into the feet and lifting your hips for bridge pose. Now your arms, you could have them down at your sides. They could go up overhead. They could interlace behind your back, but we'll squeeze the block and stay for about five breaths here, just squeezing the block. So this helps to kind of set and fortify those SI joints that can tend to slip out for a lot of us. And if they're just a little out of alignment, it can cause a lot of pain in the low back. And then bringing the butt down, and lifting the legs up to the sky, keeping the block. Curl head, neck, and shoulders up, and then squeeze the block. And you can put your hand behind your head or keep them down by your hips. Squeeze the block and try to lift the tail. So for some of us, it's not much of a lift. It's just tiny. It's the intention of lifting. Yep, and staying for five, four, three, two, one feet down, bridge pose with the block. Nice, Sonia. And so squeezing the block and, you know, this simple little flow that we're doing here can make you very, very aware of your thighs very quickly. So breathe, notice, squeeze. And then come down, butt down, legs up, block still there. You can interlace the fingers behind the head, curl up, squeeze the block, try lifting the tail. And we're breathing pretty shallowly through the nose right now, pretty shallow breath through the nose, that's okay. Belly is strong, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And last round, coming down, bridge with the block, bridge with the block. And last time, legs up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Excellent, my dear. And then come down, remove the block and windshield wiper the legs side to side, side to side. And then <clears throat> right ankle, left knee, thread the needle and just kind of see where that right hip is today. And then switching sides, left ankle, right knee, just a few breaths, kind of see where that hip is today and the difference between the sides. Always important to notice. And releasing that side and rocking yourself up and over onto hands and knees. Good. And then here, 
come to a little bit of a cow. So you might tuck your toes under and come to a little bit of a cow and then look over your right shoulder. And as you look over your right shoulder, you might think about kind of hiking that right hip toward the shoulder. So you're stretching the left side body and you can exaggerate that as much as you want to, to try to feel the lats, the side waist, everything on the left. Yeah, feel it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So a few more breaths there, just like that. And then the other side, kind of just feeling into your body where the best stretch is. And then back to center and cat. So really rounding the spine. And here, feel free to move a little bit back and forward so that you can just feel the best stretch again for your mid back, for your low back. Folks feel very different things in this pose, depending on where you're tight. And then just going kind of at your own organic pace, cow cat, you might do a few circles in there. You might move side to side. You might bend the elbows. It just feels like your own movement. Yeah, exactly. And then if there's a spot that's kind of tight and you feel a good spot where you're stretching, stay. Stay a few extra breaths. And then when you're ready, my dear, downward facing dog. <laughs> and here in this first down dog, you might pedal, you might sway. And then the right leg goes high. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest, or nose, and hover forward. Good. Lift the leg again. Take it toward your right armpit. And then toward your right wrist. And then armpit. And feel what your shoulders do in everything here. And then wrist. Great. One more time. Armpit. Yep. And wrist. And then armpit, but bring it in toward your nose. Step the foot forward. Yeah, good. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in, and then straighten that right leg, breathe out. Stay for a big inhale here. Bend the knee. And then make your way to the long edge of the mat for a wide-legged forward fold. And so here, you know, it's the first one. You can bend your knees, feel into what feels useful right now. Where do you feel the hamstrings? Notice if you bend your knees, what else you might feel. Sometimes folks feel the back. Just notice. But yoga is definitely not as prescriptive. Yeah. <clears throat> Different beautiful bodies feel different beautiful things. Sometimes not always so beautiful, <laughs> but here we are breathing and noticing. And that's the practice. All right, and then spin to face the back of the mat. You're framing that left foot. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for a big inhale. And bend the knee. And then come to plank pose. And you can always put your knees down in plank. We're gonna stay for five breaths. And coming on to the right side for side plank, right knee could always be down. You could stack your feet, you could stagger your feet. You could lift the top leg, it's all choice. Awesome, stay, notice. Come back plank and onto the left side. 
this side might be different. So adjust the posture for what's going on on this side. Awesome, come back plank. Shift forward, lower all the way down to the earth. And then arms come along your sides, palms face each other. Yeah. And then draw head, neck and shoulders up and see if you can lift your legs and bring your inner thighs up and your outer hips down. Yeah. So again, this is super fortifying also for the back and for the hips, for the SI, all of that. Two more breaths. And then coming back to child's pose. Awesome. And when you're ready, downward facing dog. That same right leg lifts. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose, hover forward. Lift the leg again. Take it toward your left armpit, left wrist. Left armpit, awesome. Left wrist, left armpit, left wrist. And then in toward your armpit and the nose. Step the foot forward, Woo, good job. Deep breath in and then straighten that right leg. Shh. Stay for a big inhale and then bend the knee. Make your way to the long edge of the mat, wide legged forward fold. Couple breaths here. And then again, lift halfway and make your way to face forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Plank. A few breaths here, feeling the belly. And then side plank on the left. Awesome. Back to plank. And side plank on the right. Good. Back to plank. Shift forward. Lower all the way to the ground. And this time, perhaps interlacing the fingers behind the tail. <clears throat> yep. And then imagine your thumbs going toward the back of your thighs. Heart comes up, legs come up, inner thighs spin up, outer hips spin down. Nice. Nice, Sonia. Locust. I can see her whole back body, her calves, everything engaging here. Really good. One more deep breath in. And then release and come back to child's pose. And here in child's pose, this time walk both of your hands to the right and interlace your left hand on top of the right hand and see if you can stretch that whole left side body, the whole left side body. And then come back to center and switch sides. Great, come back to center, downward facing dog. Left leg goes high. 
Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose, hover forward. Lift the leg again. <clears throat> Take it toward your left armpit, your left wrist, your left armpit, and wrist. Left armpit, left wrist, left armpit, the nose, step the foot forward, come all the way up, crescent lunge. Really good. And so here, taking the time to bend the back knee a little bit and scissor the legs back to front. So in essence, you're feeling like that outer left hip draws down and back. Yep, and the outer right hip draws up and forward. And then start to straighten that back leg just as much as it feels useful. And you can open through the heart and the chest and the shoulders are down. So good, Sonia. Deep breath in. And then warrior two. Straighten that left leg, reach beyond your toes, keep reaching that arm forward and bring your right arm along your ear. So feel the core here, still spin the heart up, still reach long, nice. And then from here, open your arms high to low and you can touch your leg with that bottom arm or whatever works. Triangle for about five breaths. And then inhale, star pose. And then <clears throat> bend your knees, goddess pose. And we'll see if we can lift the right heel up, place it down, lift the left heel up, place it down, both heels up. And star pose, big inhale. And then warrior two toward the back. Straighten that right leg, reach beyond your toes, and then bring the left arm alongside the ear as well. And so feel the side body stretch, draw the front of the ribs in a little. Yeah, nice. And then open the arms high to low for triangle five breaths. Excellent. And then slowly bend that front knee, pivot on the back toes, crescent lunge. Nice. Draw the outer right hip down and back. Left hip forward. Bend the back knee. Bring the shoulders down. Nice. And then from here, start to straighten that back leg the best you can. Awesome. One more big breath in. Plank. Come to the right side, side plank. Deep breath in. Back to plank. Left side, side plank. Back to plank. Shift forward, lower to the ground. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand and kick the foot into the hand and come up. So half bow. Mm -hmm. And then come down with your head and that heel comes in towards your booty and tuck your tail. You're just stretching the front of that right thigh. Okay. 
and then switching sides. Kick into your hand at first, come up half bow. Mm -hmm. And then coming down, drawing the heel in toward the booty, tucking the tail, stretching the front of the left thigh. And then reaching back for both of your feet for bow pose, kicking the feet into the hands, coming up for five, four, three, two, one, release. Windshield wiper your legs, create a little pillow for your head. And then gently push yourself back to child's pose, walking both of your hands to the left, stretching that right side body. And then back to center, walking both of your hands to the right, stretching the left side body. Coming back to center, <clears throat> downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Draw the knee in towards your belly, chest, or nose. Lift the leg again. Take the leg across the body towards your right armpit, right wrist. Right armpit, right wrist. Right armpit, right wrist. Right armpit, nose, step the foot forward, crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten the left leg, reach beyond the toes, triangle pose. Awesome. Back to star pose. And bend your knees, goddess. You can keep your heels down. You could lift them up one at a time or both together. See what feels useful. Couple big breaths here. Inhale, star. Or your two toward the front. Straighten that right leg. Triangle pose. Awesome. Breathing into the side body. Coming back, warrior two. Pivot your back toes, crescent lunge. Inhale here, exhale plank. Shift forward, knees could come down first. Try to lower halfway down, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog on your inhale, downward facing dog on the exhale. Five breaths. And my dear, walk or hop, chair pose. Deep breath in, walk or hop, down dog. Deep breath in, 
walk or hop chair. Excellent, deep breath in. Walk or hop down dog. One more time, walk or hop chair. Walk or hop down dog. Right leg lifts, right foot steps forward, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. So your elbow could be toward the thigh or you could reach down lower. We're gonna really focus on stretching that top ribs. So Sonia has a really good line there. So we wanna be long instead of arced. And you can think about, interesting cue, you can think about that back hip. So in this instance, your left hip moving toward your right heel. So that front knee bends a little bit more and the line gets a little bit longer and the back inner thigh really engages. We'll stay about five breaths here. Play with the top hand. Do you wanna do circles? Do you want to go one direction then the other, half bind, full bind? What would be useful for the top ribs and side body to stretch? About five more breaths, wherever you feel it is the most useful for you today. And then bring your hands to the inside of that right foot, spin to face the long edge of the mat and walk your fingertips really far forward. Yeah, and bring your weight all the way back into your heels. Yeah, stretch that way. And then set your heels in actually and toes out. Heels in, toes out. Yep. And bend your knees a whole bunch and squat way down. Yeah. And then bring your hands to your thighs and keep your butt really low, but straighten your arms. Can you straighten your arms? <laughs> Hands are on the thighs. Straighten your arms. So your torso is going to come up, but your butt is going to stay down. Exactly. Yeah, there it is. I know. I got to refine my language. <laughs> yep, so good. And then dip your right shoulder toward the earth. Mm -hmm. And keep opening that right knee gently. Good. And then switch sides. Opening the left knee gently. Good. And then booty is down, goddess pose. Yep, arms might reach up. Oh, so good, so good. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the back of the mat. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. And so again, this side is different. Stay with what feels useful here. You can move that top arm in circles or a half bind or whatever feels like you've got a spot to stretch the whole right ribs and lats. So you can kind of stay wherever it feels like it is a good spot for you. Great, and then we're coming all the way back this time to warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. And plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Nice. That same right leg lifts. Bend your knee and open your hip and just stay there for a few breaths. At first, let yourself kind of open. So that right armpit opens, you're kind of looking to the right, yeah. And then try to keep your knee where it is 
and square your shoulder back toward the floor. So it's like the armpit goes back toward the floor. Yeah, awesome. So then the torso is long, but the hip is still opening and kind of notice the difference between how that feels when the whole right side body is open or when it's just the hip that's open. Inhale here, step the foot forward for warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. And this time we're gonna stay with a half or full bind. And we'll stay here today trying to really get that side body stretch instead of going on to bird, which is more balance, but less about the stretch. And so here, my invitation is to bring your right glutes strongly in towards center. And notice how when your glutes come in towards center, you can start to spin the heart up so good, about five more breaths here, holding stuff a little longer today, trying to breathe into the poses and notice where the breath wants to move. Good, and then release. Bring your hands to the inside of that foot, spin to face the long edge of the mat, but open your, your toes, heels in, toes out, walk your hands forward, and then bring all the weight in your booty and start to really squat. Yep. And then keep that low squat, hands to the thighs, straighten the arms. Yeah, exactly. And then try to keep that low squat, goddess. Yeah. Draw the front of the ribs in so we're supporting that beautiful curve in the low back. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two toward the front. Inhale, exalted warrior. And exhale to side angle half or full bind to stay. <laughs> yep, so good. And remember that left hip drives the spinning of the torso up actually. Excellent, release all the way back through Exalted Warrior, one big inhale, and then plank, Chaturanga, Cobra or Up Dog, and Downward Facing Dog, five breaths. Left leg lifts, left foot steps forward, warrior two. And this time interlacing the fingers behind your tail, squeezing your shoulder blades together and humble warrior, letting your arms rinse out overhead, humble warrior. Good, about five breaths here. Yeah, and then spin to face the long edge of the mat, feet are parallel, arms stay the same.
And then just release your arms and thread them through your legs. Excellent, set your heels in, toes out, walk your hands way forward, squat down low, and then goddess pose, big inhale, nice. Stay for your exhale, star pose, inhale, warrior two toward the back, interlace the fingers behind your tail, squeeze your shoulder blades together, humble warrior, let your arms rinse out overhead. No barking. What? Two more breaths here. Release your hands, frame your front foot. Down dog your way. So it could be plank, chaturanga. See what feels useful. And then that left leg lifts again. Foot steps forward, warrior two. Hello, kitty. And then right arm under for eagle arms. Humble warrior with eagle arms. And then wide legged forward fold with eagle arms. Release your hands and thread your arms through your legs. Turn your heels in, toes out, deep squat, walk your hands forward. So good. Keeping your booty down, goddess pose. Excellent. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the front. Left arm under, eagle arms. Humble warrior with eagle arms. And then spin to face the long edge of the mat with these eagle arms. So we make sure we get both sides here. Breathe. Release your hands, thread them through your legs. All right, this time heels in, toes out, squat deep. Bring your hands to your thighs. In to straighten your arms and then lean to the right. So keep your right hand down, 
Reach your left arm up and over. So it's a big side bend. Yep. You could even come onto the right elbow, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Awesome. Two more breaths there. Feeling that whole left side body. Such a good foundation, Sonia. Knees in great alignment over the toes, over the second and third toes. Really good. And then switch sides. Right side open. And then come back to center, star. <laughs> Inhale here, exhale, warrior two toward the front. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, down dog, your way. Down dog, your way. And then about 10 breaths in down dog or dolphin, bringing your forearms down. And child's pose when you're ready, child's pose. And then when you're ready, coming over onto your backs, onto your back. So that same block or pillow or whatever, place that between your knees. But this time we're gonna twist all the way to the right, twist to the right. So it's really nice and it can be kind of between your knees and your shins yeah whatever feels useful like it could be the other way so it, it's you know what i mean yeah exactly so that there's more space and then twisting all the way to the right whenever there's something between your knees that's much better for the hips and low back it puts the si joints in just a little bit more position that is less strain and more supportive so we're gonna stay a while here with the block between the knees, you can relax your belly. And for some of us that have had low back issues, it's really challenging to relax the belly in a twist. It's almost like we don't trust it. But I have found that when I have relaxed my belly and had something between the knees, that it can be quite useful to stretch. So every exhale is an opportunity for you to try to relax and trust and let go of effort. 
whenever we hold twists for a longer extended period of time, we will do a kind of a neutral pose afterwards just to reset the spine. I find in my body, as I age, twists are more challenging and more necessary. But it's very, very important that they're supported by something between the knees. That's my body, but it's also true for Conti, who has a very, very different body than me. So I think that uh, supported twists are, are the way to go. <laughs> Keep that low back happy. And then back to center. And as we come back to center, remove the block, have your feet on the ground, walk your feet rather wide and let your knees tend, tend toward one another. So we're staying here about 10 breaths just to neutralize the spine. And then the block comes back between the knees and twisting to the left. Allowing your belly even to relax here, everything to feel like it can just have a little bit more ease, a little bit more settling. Imagine that everything is supported. All of your joints are finding their way to settle into their rightful place.
coming back to center and slowly removing the block. Feet wide, knees toward one another. And then when you're ready, right ankle, left knee, thread the needle. You might flex your feet. And half happy baby on this right side, half happy baby. You might straighten your left leg, your left arm might go up overhead. You might flex through the left heel, that feels useful. And then thread the needle on the left. Flexing your feet. And half happy baby on the left, right leg might straighten, right arm might go up overhead.
Then as you come back to center, you might bring the soles of your feet together, interlace the fingers around the feet, or hold your ankles, whatever works. And stay a few breaths there. And then bringing your feet down to the earth and windshield wipering your legs side to side. Your feet might be quite wide. And then allowing both of your knees to fall open to the right where you might stay just like that, or you might pick your right foot up and place it on your outer left thigh by the knee. Yep. So of course the left hip comes up here and that's fine. We'll just draw maybe the belly in lightly to make sure that the low back is okay with this whole situation. Yeah, and then release and windshield wiper the legs. Let them fall open to the left. And then you might place the left ankle on the right thigh, draw the belly lightly in. Release that side. And then rolling bridges, pushing into the feet, lifting the hips, lifting the arms, and rolling down vertebra by vertebra. You might have a little bit more space between your feet. Awesome. And then the next time you come down, you might put your legs up the wall, legs up the wall. <clears throat> Allowing yourself a little bit more restorative legs up the wall or a block under the sacrum, legs up to the sky. That's another good one. If shoulder stand is something that feels awesome in your body, feel free to do that.
And then allowing yourself rest for yoga nidra, a guided meditation. So you might really make yourself comfortable here with pillows, blankets. You could even lay on a bed or a couch. Yoga Nidra is all about feeling really comfortable. You might snuggle a key. <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> He's a good key. My kitty wouldn't stay there. He'd be like, oh, excuse me. I didn't choose this spot. <laughs> That's a good key. All right, so we'll feel ourselves settle, allow our back to feel supported, almost like the earth rushes up to cradle you and hold you. All right, kitty, circle around till you feel comfortable. Find a good spot. There you go, key. And then just breathe. Notice the rise and fall of your natural effortless breath. Where do you feel the breath? Is it in your chest? Is it in your belly? Is it in your throat? Is it in your back? If you don't deepen or lengthen your breath, where do you feel the breath move naturally? And then begin to feel gratitude. Gratitude for this body exactly as she, he, they are. This body right here, right now, with all of its strengths and all of its weaknesses. Just feeling grateful for the most part to have a really able body. Such a blessing and a privilege. And then feeling gratitude for the things that we often overlook. Gratitude for the beauty, the absolute beauty of the earth, the abundance, the generosity of the earth. Gratitude for the water, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, we have so much water. Clear water to drink, clear water to swim in, to bathe in. What a gift. What a privilege. One of the things that's harder for us here in Washington to appreciate is the rain. But the rain is so abundant that it makes the rest of the earth nourished and green and generous and generative. It grows our gardens. ample trees so we have fresh, clean, clear air to breathe. What a gift. Thank you, water. And then gratitude for all the personal things that are in your life that you feel blessed to receive love, friendship, partnership, pets, and the absolute joy and settling that your pets give you. All of the many things. And then the more advanced practice. <laughs> Gratitude for some of the struggle that you've been through, some of the maybe harder lessons learned, 
that have taught you compassion and empathy and maybe most of all forgiveness. Which is in essence, made you the person you are today. And then as you are steeped in gratitude, allowing yourself to ask your sweetheart, your dear heart, your tender heart, what do you desire? Whatever comes up, crafting a little sentence, a present tense mantra, a sankalpa. It might be, I am grateful for whatever this desire is. I'm grateful for love. I am grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my wealth. I am grateful for forgiveness and empathy. Whatever resonates for you. I'm grateful for my liberation. And repeat it now to yourself three times, knowing it's absolute truth. And then draw your awareness to the parts of the body as effortlessly as you can. Right hand, thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, palm of the right hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder. Your whole right arm. Left hand, thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder. Your whole left arm. Both arms together. Right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Sole of the foot, top of the foot, heel, ankle, calf, and shin. Back of the knee, front of the knee, back of the thigh, front of the thigh, inner thigh, outer thigh. Right hip, buttocks, your whole right leg, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe, sole of the foot, top of the foot, heel, <clears throat> ankle, calf, and shin, back of the knee, front of the knee, back of the thigh, front of the thigh, inner thigh, outer thigh, left hip, buttocks, your whole left leg, both legs together, both arms and both legs together. Rest your awareness where your head is touching the earth. And wrap your awareness around to the crown and the forehead. Right side of the forehead, left side of the forehead, 
forehead center. The whole forehead. Your right eye, your left eye, both eyes together. Your right ear, your left ear, both ears together. Your right cheek, your left cheek, both cheeks together. Your right nostril, your left nostril, both nostrils together. Your upper lip, your lower lip, both lips together. The tip of your tongue, the root of your tongue, the whole tongue together. Upper row of teeth, lower row of teeth, the whole mouth together, your whole face together. Right side of the throat, left side of the throat, the center of the throat, the whole throat. Right side of the chest, left side of the chest, the center of the chest, the whole chest. Right side of the belly, left side of the belly, the center of the belly, the whole belly. Right side of the pelvis, left side of the pelvis, the center of the pelvis the whole pelvis. Wrap your awareness around to the tip of the tail. Right side of the buttocks, left side of the buttocks, the whole buttocks. Right side of the low back, left side of the low back, the whole low back. Right side of the mid back, left side of the mid back, the whole mid back, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, the whole upper back, right side of the neck, left side of the neck, the whole neck, once again, your awareness rests where your head is touching the earth. Now bring to mind the whole right side of the body, the whole right side, the whole left side of the body, the whole left side, the whole front side of the body, the whole front side, the whole back side of the body, the whole back side, the whole of your body together, the whole body together, your whole body together. Once again, notice the subtle rise and fall of the belly, the chest, the throat, maybe even the back with your natural effortless breath. As you remember your son Colpa. Repeat it to yourself again. Three times now.
and so it is. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete. You might stretch, you might wiggle. And come on to your left side for a few breaths. And slowly up to a seat. In the spirit of peace, we say Shanti. Shalom, Salam, Amani, Maluhia, Irini, Shiakan, Jam, Murk. Near, Pache, Has. In the spirit of our collective truth, freedom, and liberation, we say Ashe, Amin, Amen, Blessed be, Kapu Aloha, In Laketch, Satnam, Namaste. Atakuyasin, Black Lives Matter. Thank you, Sonia, so much for being our beautiful model. Love you, honey. May you all have a good day.